the state is under a stay-at-home order and ICU capacity is dropping. Santa Cruz County, the latest county to reach zero ICU capacity. With more on how the county's two hospitals are dealing with the surge, here's Action News 8 reporter Felix Cortez. Our emergency departments are, are frankly uh, overwhelmed. Our hospitals are doing the best they can, but this is a critical situation. ICU capacity at Dominican and Watsonville hospitals as of Thursday morning was maxed out. We have patients that are um, holding in the emergency department. Uh, we have patients coming in um, by the hour, uh, by ambulance, by car. That problem only likely to get worse heading into the last celebration of the year. I would say um, add two weeks onto New Year's and that's where we're gonna start seeing another crush of hospitalizations. Add another week or two and you're gonna see the death rate go up. Santa Cruz County now joining San Benito County in zero ICU capacity here on the Central Coast. Dominican now in overflow capacity and county leaders looking at the roadway in in Watsonville as a possibility to house recovering COVID patients to free up bed space. And we can reserve a few of those rooms for um, patients who you know, may need oxygen or may need some minimal health care. The biggest challenge there has been, again, staffing, Felix, um, finding nurses that uh, we can um, have um, staff that facility. Also, Sutter Maternity and Surgery Center has offered to house recovering non-COVID patients. But county health leaders fear if the situation continues to worsen, they may have to go into crisis care mode, which means doctors will then have to decide who gets limited resources and who doesn't. And we're not quite there yet, but we're very close to the point where, uh, you know, uh, doctors and medical ethicists will have to look at a case and decide whether they meet the clinical criteria for getting um, that one ventilator. So I'll give you one example. It could be uh, maybe um, a, a 90 year old person who has advanced dementia um, versus a 30 year old, both of whom need to be on a ventilator, but there's only one ventilator there's gonna to have to be a decision who gets it. And Watsonville Community Hospital, like most hospitals across the state, have the means to increase capacity. They have the rooms, they have the medical equipment. What they don't have is the medical staff and everybody's competing for that. In Watsonville, Felix Cortez, KSBW, Action News 8.